Alrighty, NFL picks for uh, week nine. The lock of the week is the Green Bay Packers, four and five, their record after beating Jared Goff and the Lions because Jared Goff is too much of 45. Beating the Lions, who are coming off of a game against Miami. Miami is too much of 45. This win at 4-5 and five for their next title since winning Super Bowl 45 is going to begin their Super Bowl run 40, uh, 98 days, four, uh, 14 weeks before their 14th NFL championship because champions to match 98, 98 days later, they are champions. Vince Lombardi won 98 games. The Packers are the lock of the week on the road. <clears throat> the Cardinals will beat the Seahawks. Russell Wilson's to match at 54. They're going to lose. Seahawks will lose. The Cardinals will win. Cardinals will stay in the playoff field. It is Bucks size to match at 45. Tampa Bay's going to get a win. The divorce has been finalized. Tampa Bay will get the win. The Rams are sinking ship as well. Uh, the Rams will surely lose that game. Uh, the Buccaneers will will win. I, I don't think it's time to say that the Buccaneers are in complete free fall just yet. The next week, Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady have something to prove. Well, actually, the Eagles are the lock of the week. Like, it doesn't take a blind scroll to predict that, right? Colts are losing at the Patriots. New England's going to win because, hey, it's it's Bill Belichick, right? It's Bill Belichick. It's uh, when you see the Patriots, when you see their 4-4 four and four record, uh, when you see the Patriots up against the Colts, don't think too much about Colt 45 and all of that. That really, that really is, a, is a team that started out in Houston, if I'm not mistaken. But at home, the Patriots against the Colts, the Colts going to lose that one for sure. They'll, they'll be three and five because, hey, that's Tom, that's, that's the team that's known for uh, its six championships with Tom Brady. So, Colts lose again. Uh, Bill Belichick is going to keep himself alive in the playoff field. Bill Belichick is still chasing the Jets in that division. He's still chasing all these other teams. This will mean that the Jets lose to Buffalo. Buffalo Bills are 7-1. and one. After being the New York Jets, New York Jets are 5-4. Uh, and four. For the season, well, the, the, let's go to Raiders very quickly. The Raiders are two and five. Okay, we figured one of these next couple of games they would win. It's uh, Trevor Lawrence. Lawrence is to match at 36. Now the Raiders should be 3-6. and six. Will they beat the Jaguars? Let's take a look at the conference record. 2-4 and four in the conference, okay. Jacksonville Jaguars, 2-3. and three. Las Vegas to match at 23. Will they get the win? Will they be 2-4? and four? Identical, identical. So, what is it? Trevor Lawrence is too much of of uh, thirty six. Lawrence is too much of thirty six. So the Jaguars could be three and six. I think this is the time to fire Josh McDaniel. So, yep, I believe that the Jaguars will get the win. It's time to fire McDaniel's and to go with Jim Harbaugh right now. The Seahawks to, to fall to 5-4 and four against the Cardinals, remember, because it's, uh, well, you want to run your mouth on Russell Wilson, but he still is Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson, Jamacho 54. Uh, it's going to fall apart for the Seahawks eventually. I mean, come on now. They're going to fall apart. 
Well, you get it. They're going to fall apart. I mean, the Seahawks against Tom Brady? I mean, that team is getting slaughtered. That team is falling apart very quickly. This team is just not good against the NFC. You have to win conference games. Three and five is on the way for the Seahawks. They're just not going to get it done. This is one of these teams that are going to fall off the cliff quickly. Don't get fooled for a second about the Seahawks. You never know if they want the Seahawks to fall off a cliff. Now that is a team that can surely fall off the cliff eventually. These kind of things don't last all season. The Chiefs are going to win. The Chiefs on top of the AFC West 6-2, and two, Patrick Mahomes. It's very straightforward. They beat the Chargers to get to this point. It is the LA Chargers. That is Jamacha 62. The Bengals win that one. Don't take a blind scroll. The Commanders go lose. It'll be four and five. Because the Vikings, they're setting up the Vikings for that marquee Buffalo Bills showdown. And Minnesota is going to win that one. The Vikings are one of the fakest teams out there. They're going to be one and done in the playoffs if they have to go against the Packers. Remember that. This is the no-figure league. And then the Chargers should get the win away at the Atlanta. The Chargers are going to keep the division interesting. So, yep, the Chargers will get the win. Tom Brady is back on top in the division. And I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, well, the division is tied. Is tied. Loser will surely not be good enough to make it to the playoffs. If that division is tied, then that Monday night football game for the Saints has, has just gotten a lot, a, a very interesting. And, and, and I do believe the Saints can make some noise and, and get that win against the Ravens. I mean, Lamar Jackson, Lamar Jamacha 45, I think the Saints can pull it off. I think if, 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 if it's truly rigged, then you can truly make this even more interesting. Taysom Hill over Lamar Jackson having the big game next week. So, yep, it gets easier, easier, easier because it's all red uh, behind the playoff picture. Uh, Dolphins and Bears, I mean... Bears, if they're 4-5, and five, it's Miami that is to match 45 as covered during the show. Uh, Miami Dolphins. You know what? You, you, this is the no-figure game of the week. I'll go with Chicago in this one. It's 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 a it's a Florida team at the Chicago. They just beat the Lions, so maybe good things are happening in the Bears' way. So uh, these are all of my prediction for the next football week. And uh, let's go. Let's bring on the winners. The rigged playoff picture. It's all to play out. The second half only gets much easier.